Hey y'all, I'm Paul Reese, an engineer with developer relations on Google Machine Learning, and welcome back to ML on Android with MediaPipe, a series introducing machine learning and its application on Android with the new MediaPipe Solutions Framework. In this video, you will learn about a feature we're adding to MediaPipe called Face Stylization. This experimental feature allows you to take a model trained from a single reference image and apply properties found in a contained stylized face to a new image using an on-device model called Blaze Style GAN. This model is the first real-time face stylization approach, which makes it efficient enough to be able to run on a device with limited resources, such as a mobile phone. While the details of training a face stylization model are a bit outside of the scope of this video, it is worth knowing a little bit about how it works, but that's mainly because I also think it's kind of cool. First, this technique takes a single image with the style that you want to apply, such as a color pencil sketch, and passes that image to the MediaPipe face stylizer model. The face stylizer model then tries to break that image down into a collection of facial features. After that, the model attempts to map those features back to the reference image to try and really learn all of the details to that specific style. After some back and forth during this training phase, which is where the adversarial part of a generative adversarial network, or GAN, comes from, a new image can be given to this new customized face stylizer to try and take everything that was learned about that reference style and apply it to a new input image. Great, so now that you have a really high level understanding of what's happening with face stylization, let's go ahead and implement it on Android. You'll start by downloading a model file and storing it in your app's assets folder. If you're following along with our sample on GitHub, which I'll link to in the video description, then you'll actually download a few different models that you can try, but this will be handled for you automatically by a build script. After that, you can import the MediaPipe task vision library in your build.gradle file and sync your project. Next, you will need to configure the face stylizer so that it can be used in your app. For this video, you'll set the model path, which should point to your app's assets directory. Since this only works with static images right now, you don't need to set the running mode, listeners, or really anything else. From there, you can create your face stylizer. Once you have an image that you want to stylize, you can take the bitmap and convert it into a media pipe image object, then call stylize on the face stylizer to get your results object back. Remember, since there's no listeners or streaming running mode involved here, this will happen synchronously. You can then extract the media pipe image from that result, turn it into a byte buffer, and then finally change it back into a bitmap that you can display within your app. Not too bad, right? What's nice about this task is that while face stylization would typically be a more complex machine learning problem, MediaPipe tasks abstracts it enough that you only need a few lines of code to create filters, avatars, or whatever else it is that you can come up with. One quick disclaimer here. Please only do this on your own face or the faces of people that have given you permission to do any sort of face image editing. So with that out of the way, like I mentioned earlier, while we've provided a few default models that you can use right now, we've also made it possible for you to train and customize your own models with MediaPipe Model Maker. While that's a bit out of scope for this video, you can find the documentation on developers.google.com slash MediaPipe. And here you can see an example that I put together with a new portrait style reference image. Along with that, there's a few caveats that are worth discussing here, since this does still have some rough edges as an experimental solution. First, you'll wanna make sure that you use images that are front facing, aligned across the central vertical axis, show an entire face, and have a face that can be detected by MediaPipe's face detector task, which is being used during that model customization stage. All of these things are important for getting back expected results from your new face stylization models. Great, now that you know a bit about face stylization, be sure to let us know what you think about this new experimental task, both what you love about it and what you really don't like, as we're at a stage right now where we can really focus on improvement and getting this right for you all. Also, let us know what you're working on and your ideas for future projects in the comments below, as we're definitely looking forward to seeing what you make.